Hello, welcome to this video looking at lighting blending modes in After Effects. So the good thing about shadows in After Effects is that they're not affected, they're rendered separately. So just to begin, we're going to look at this, what I've got here. We've got the camera, the light, a point light, uh, the wheel, and then the, the background image, which is like is a zero on the Z. So you can see from this top view where everything is at the moment. You can see the, the shadow at the moment is quite small, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it beyond. So it's currently at 12, minus 1246. I'm going to move it uh, further back, right? Uh, only in the Z. So I press Control. And this is going to be the Z axis. And you see what's going to happen. As we move it closer, you can see the shadow increases in size. So this is the way you can get the increase in size. And you can see it goes all the way through. And then at this point, it's just going to be. So what we'll do is we'll choose a, a good position for the shadow, uh, say somewhere like this. Now, like I say, with the blending modes, it's kind of interesting because what you can do is you can you can select our layer here, press F4, and then you can choose a blending mode for the shadow. Let's try. I think, funnily enough, I think divide is probably the one I like the best here. So that gives kind of cool effect. Let's see if we increase the move it a bit closer. See what that's going to look like. Different scale. So that is going to give quite an interesting effect, actually. 